How you doing? Coming up in the video, you're gonna see one of my life's finest work that I did in my first three years, uh, uh, first three months uh, at university. Uh, the video is in no specific order, so I'll be guiding you through it. Okay, so uh, it's the final day, and everything is ready. The controller is ready. The rover is ready, and we are ready. I've got three of my friends over here, and now. And for now, I'm going to the main campus because uh, I have uh, like uh, I have to. Uh, main campus ki jana bhai. <laughs> uh, we are just going to the main campus to take uh, take it uh, to a test drive uh, to see how it works. For now, we'll be testing it in this field. So let's see how it works. And now it's ready to go. So ah, it's working. It's working. Let's see how it takes a turn. Uh, the thread on this screw just broke, so you know it. This this motor got free. And hence, I'll have to get go back to my hostel and get another set of screws. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Now when the rover is fixed, I'm gonna go and pick more of my friends and then we take it out for a drive. How are you? Fine. Let's go. Where is the project? It's down. Downstairs? Yeah. So come here. Come here? Bring here. No, we're gonna take it to a round uh, in the campus. Ah, to exhibit. To exhibit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> on the stairs? Uh, on the trees. On the trees. <laughs> Big car. <laughs> car. Big yeah. So now we are gonna go and test this uh, rover on stairs. However, I never made this project keeping stairs in mind because it is not supposed to work on stairs. So uh, let's see how it works. Turn, turn, turn. Turn? Yes. No, no. Let me try to. <laughs> of course not made for stairs. Another surprise, yeah. <laughs> Work done! Okay! <laughs> Afiza, we accept this guy today! Afiza! <laughs> <laughs> This set of wheels go on forward direction and that set of wheels go on back. So it turns. I was first I was going to have the wheels on each wheel. But that was complicated. That is one thing. Okay. 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 Okay.
Step 1 Drafting and Sketching And now keeping all the fun aside Let's actually see how the rover was built So starting on with step 1 which is sketching The thing is I like to take the idea off my head onto a paper And simultaneously noting down the measurements and dimensions uh, I really like to uh, keep the build process professional After the sketching is done, we jump onto a computer. Following up with step number two, which is computer aided design. The program that I use is SolidWorks 2018. It is a CAD software by, by uh, let me check, it's the Salt Systems. Systems. The Salt Systems. Uh, you know, my French and good. Let's just continue with the video. So, modeling in SolidWorks is fairly easy. So, you make the structure, then you apply the material. For this one, I'm gonna choose silicone rubber because it's the tire. And uh, you hit save, you apply, and you save the part. Yeah, it looks good. Mm, save it. You give it a name. Yeah, save. So similarly, I've made all the other parts as well. Uh, so once you have done with making all the parts, you put them together and make an assembly. So here the design is in its uh, final stage. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, the counter rotating differential. It works pretty well So let me talk about the whole point of making your project in a CAD software first You know the thing is when you design your project in a computer There are so many things that you can do with it like run tests run simulations do all kinds of analysis and That's how you can figure out where you are getting your project wrong like where you have to modify or you know uh, work before actually start making it in the real world so you know it saves you tons of time and energy and money so it's a good thing to put into practice if uh, you know if you like to make stuff so that now brings us to step number three which is simulation and testing so i'll set it to motion analysis because that's what we are going to do now a motion analysis so i'll get some things ready and then we'll begin yeah, so I declared the gravity. I'm not, right now. I'm 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 setting contacts. Whew. Uh, I'm setting the position right. You know, this is a process you have to follow. Uh, yeah, this is me setting the motors. Yeah, so now everything is ready and it's up and running. So this was the test number one. So let's see how it performs. This is the ramp that I designed to test it. Yeah, so right there it stops due to some reason. So I get back again and do some more modifications, some changing angles of the legs. And this time I'm sure it will go over it. Yeah, it does. It does. So that's the good thing about simulating, being able to run analysis before even beginning to work on your project. Now for some of you guys out there, there might come this question that why do we need a complex set of gears on the rover, which is the counter rotating differential? And how does it affect the performance of the rover? So to answer the question, let's compare the scenarios. In the first situation, we've got an asymmetric ramp with no differential on the rover to see how it will perform in case there is no differential. Let's check it out. Well, clearly there seems to be some problem. First of all, the deck is wobbling like shit. Then we can notice that the back wheels are at times elevated and it looks nasty. That also means that not all the wheels are in contact with the ground at the same time, which means less attraction because you don't get to use all of your potential. So that's the thing with no differential. Now let's observe how the rover would perform on the same ramp, but this time with the differential. Yeah, this time the movement seemed to be buttery smooth. There is some wobbling on the deck, but it's comparatively highly lesser. Plus the best thing is that it manages to keep all the 6 wheels in contact with the ground at any point in time. And that means better traction and is a better design. Yeah, so that is why you need a counter rotating differential on a rocker bogey. So now everything is ready and we can finally start building which is the last step, the step number 4. Okay, uh, it's, 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 <laughs> 
I told that it, it is important to you. Okay. Looks nice, yeah. Nice. But it is too much. The, 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 the gaps are so big. Yeah. yeah. How you feel it? That's why it's fine. this is bad. Because it will cast, it, it will cast a few materials. Mm -hmm. Feel it. And this one, so you reach, so. <laughs> Campe? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you Thank you. So not even halfway through the project and I've already run out of hardware. We need to get some stuff. This is supposed to be the main market, but uh, all I'm looking for is a hardware store. Thirty percent. What did you get? Fair say. Thank you. You drill it. You move 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 Yes. 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 Yes.
testing the range on this thing so I have my friend who is standing there if you can see oh it's working it's got a pretty good range I must say that let's finish the wheels and uh, take it for a ride tomorrow the range on this so I'll be going to a distance and let's see like what's the range on this thing okay so the observed range on this thing was 500 to 600 meters and I think that was pretty good <laughs>